Hello everyone, my name is Sateus and today we will learn how to import 3D models with textures like metallic, ambient occlusion, roughness, displacement and more from CG Trader to Blender. First, go to CG Trader or any other site with 3D models and find a free or paid 3D model that you want to download. I choose this chair. Click on free download and you will be redirected to a new page where you will need to wait approximately 18 seconds. After the time is up, your files will be available in various formats. I decided to download an FBX file for this example. When you open the folder, you will encounter this. Six different textures and a 3D model in FBX format. Now you can open Blender, select everything with A and delete with X. Select the FBX file and drag and drop it into Blender. Drag and drop only works in Blender version 4.1 and later. Press import FBX and your chair will be imported. Switch to Material Preview mode so that you can add textures and see how they look. Place the cursor on the upper side of the screen as shown and when you see a plus, just pull it down to the left while holding the left mouse button. Go to the Shader Editor. Press N to move that sidebar node from the right. Now, drag and drop the file texture underscore diff dot png. Diff means diffuse and it is always texture for a base color. Of course, it can be named differently depending on the person who uploaded the file. After you connect color from edit texture with base color from principal BSDF, chair color will appear. The next file we will add will be texture underscore metal dot png. As you can assume, it is a texture for the metallic part of your chair. Connect color from the metal texture with metallic from principal BSDF. As you can see, now we have a metallic looking part, but if you look closer, something is not right. Metallic shouldn't look like that. When you have texture for metallic, never forget to change color space from sRGB to non-color. Now it looks as it should. The next texture that we will add is a texture for roughness. Connect color from roughness texture with roughness from principal BSDF. Change color space to non-color and you will see that your model now has varying amount of glossiness. In this case, the normal map node is already here, but if you need to add it, this is how you do it. Go to add, vector, normal map, and connect normal from normal map with normal from principal BSDF. Now, drag and drop the texture for normals, and connect color from that texture with color from normal map. As you can already see, seems looks weird, so just change color space from sRGB to non-color and it will be fixed. Now, drag and drop texture for height, or sometimes it's called bump. That texture can be used for displacement. Connect color from that texture with height from displacement. Connect displacement from displacement with displacement from material output. And change to non-color. Now, drag and drop the last texture, the texture for ambient occlusion. Go to Add, Color, Mix Color and put it between texture diffuse and base color from principal BSDF. Connect color from ambient occlusion with B for mix color. Change it to non-color and change mix to multiply. Now, as you change factor from 0 to 1, you change ambient occlusion as well. That's all for today. If you had fun learning with me, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sattails. Also, there is a first part of this video, how to import 3D models with textures from Sketchfab to Blender step-by-step -step guide. I recently started the Patreon with more exclusive content like tutorials, 3D models, blend files, behind the scenes videos, etc. I'm also often sharing free 3D models, making quizzes, etc. There is something for both free and paid members, so don't forget to check it out. And if you have any questions, write them down in the comments. Happy blending everyone! Bye! See you next time!